take notes or go back and listen to the archive. You always want to see what the man or woman of God is preaching and if they're preaching the word of God because you must try every spirit to see if it be of God and it's time to stand up and be for God, my friends. We are running out of time. Where will you spend eternity? If death was to hit you right now, do you know beyond a shadow of a doubt where you would go where well, you can because if you'll repent from your sins if you'll turn from your wickedness and run into the arms of Jesus uh, he'll no wise cast you out my friend but now listen uh, we're living in a time a time in the end of the days do you hear me I'm talking about a time when the love of men is going to wax worse uh, I'm talking about a time that they're going to kill you they're going to kill you they're going to kill you if you stand up for the gospel do you hear me listen to the word of God remember then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preach Christ unto them. I want you to pay attention today to the word because we're talking about preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Today, people don't preach the gospel of Jesus Christ no more. Do you hear me? Hey, I'm out on the highways and byways. I'm telling you, it ain't every building you go into that they have the name on the door of the house of God. They lie because liberty is not there to obey God. And if there is no liberty, there is no God. Do you hear me today? Not in that place. Do you hear me? I'm talking to you now. Look in Acts uh, uh, chapter 8 verse 5. Philip, Philip didn't preach politics or social gospel. Listen, he, he didn't preach about current events of sports and, and things. He preached Jesus, man. I'm talking about Jesus and him crucified and risen on that third. Do you hear me today? You know I'm telling you the truth uh, and the truth shall set you free. Uh, you see, it happened when Jesus is preached. Uh, and, 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 and listen, look, and when Jesus was preached, and the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spoke, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. Now, I want you to look. I want you to look. I want you to pay attention because signs follow the believers today. I want you to pay attention to the word of God because uh, miracles which he did. Remember, for unclean spirits crying with loud voices came out of many that were possessed with them and many uh, taken with palsies and they and they were lame and they were healed my friends and there was a great joy in that city look at Acts chapter 8 verses 6 and 7 the revival was on my friend are you are you ready for revival in your life today are you ready to begin to apply the word of God I'm talking to you now straighten up quit looking around the room you don't need to be pointing fingers at nobody else. Uh, this word is for you, my friend. It is the word of God. It is life uh, under your bones today, my friend. Uh, look in chapter, uh, uh, the book of Acts chapter 8. You want to read verses 6 through 8 and apply the word of God. Look here. I'm telling you, today, 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 do you hear me? Today, when the word of God is preached in its power, love, and faith as the Lord wills it to be preached, wonderful things are going to take place. Churches are going to become alive with the, with the whole word of God. When the whole word of God is preached through its anointing and the power of the Holy Ghost, until then, you're sitting in a graveyard, my friends. Until then, you're stuck in a form of religion. Until then, you're just playing church. You're not the church. Until then, you're just hearing about our precious Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You do not know him until you apply the word of God in your life. Are you ready? Are you ready? Listen, they ask, well, you know, does everyone, you know, you know, everyone get this thing called the Holy Ghost? Let me tell you something. You can't do nothing without it. Do you hear me today? Does everyone get this thing called the Holy Ghost? Sure, it's a promise from the Father. Do you hear me today? I need your prayers, church. Pray for me as we stand upon the platform of the Word of God, preaching the Word of God to a lost and dying world. There's somebody hurting today, my friends. While we got evangelists, apostles, and pastors and teachers that's laying back taking vacations. Uh, yeah, they're swimming on the couch of doubt and pity. Uh, they're saying, I can't go do it. I don't have the way. Let me tell you something. Put one foot in front of the other. Uh, it's time to get up and get out. If you expect to go up, you better do some fast growing up. I'm talking to the called men and women of God. That's talk the talk, but they have not walked the walk. They have not denied themselves and picked up their cross and fallen out of Jesus. They've never done nothing for nobody except whine and complain about everything that's went all to hell in their life. But they say they're holding on to Jesus. Let me tell you something. It ain't about your life. It's about the life of our precious Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And if he's reigning, 
ain't in you. You're dead. And if you're dead, you got nothing to complain about. And if Jesus lives in you, honey, all that's going to flow like living water, do you hear me, is joy and salvation of the glory of God. You're going to become everything you put your hands to is going to be blessed. You ain't got time to be depressed if you're born again, bathed in the blood of the Lamb. You ain't got time for nerve problems if you have accepted Jesus Christ because he said you are healed. It's time to stand on the word of God or just get the hell on out of the way because listen, my friend, it's the truth. It's the truth. You re- listen, when you hear the preaching of the gospel and you reject Jesus Christ, you're condemned already and you're on your way to hell where the devil and his legion of angels, the antichrist, the liars, and the whoremongers will spend eternity crying out in pain and anguish where the worm dieth not. Now you either want to make heaven your home or you're going to make hell your home. You're either going to be obedient to God or you're either going to be obedient to the devil. Now listen to me. It's the truth. You're either right or wrong, saved or lost. You're either on your way to heaven or hell. Today, this moment, this hour, if death hits you and you leave this world without Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you will split hell wide open. And you can't repent in hell. You don't get another chance. No, no. See, you're separated from the presence of God, my friend. Listen to me. This is real. Today, somebody's watching you. Those of you that claim you've been born again. Those of you that claim that you've got the anointing of God upon your life. Then why why do you sit in a room and keep it shut up uh, where nobody can see it? You're supposed to be like a light of a city that's set on a hill. You're supposed to be uh, out front, bright. Man, I'm talking about where those that are hurting, those that are drug infested, those that are alcohol filled, those that need to see and feel the love of God that they can look at you and see the glory of God. Do you hear me? It's time to get up and get out or you're going to wind up left. You're going to wind up being on the left side. You're going to be one of them goats because you're not. Well, now listen, Brother Eddie, I can't feed everybody. I ain't telling you to feed everybody. I'm telling you to get up and about and be a doer of the word of God. And if you do that one soul at a time, then honey, you're going to be found in the will of God. And if you leave this world, there's no better way to die than to be busy for the body of Christ. There's no better way to leave this world than to be found doing something for the glory of God. There's no better way to leave this world than to please God and Him reach down and take you and you can't do that if you're laying in the bed of pity. You can't do that if you're laying on the couch of doubt. You can't do that if you're making up excuse after excuse to why you can't go do nothing. Let me tell you something. If you have read the Word of God, then it's time to apply the Word of God. You can do all all things through Christ who strengthens you. Now, just what is your problem today, my friend? I'm going to tell you what your problem is. If you want to stay around, you're going to hear it right here. I am the evangelist, Eddie Cheney. Travel on this journey We can travel by faith 
no one loves you like God. That was Zane and Donna King. We want to thank them for sharing that. Amen. Did you know no one loves you? Hey, mom and dad don't love you like God does. He loved you so much he sent his only begotten son. Yeah, for you, whosoever. That's you and me. Friend, do you hear me today? I'm talking to you. I'm telling you the Word of God. It's time to get up and about. It's time to become that doer and apply the Word of God in your life. You've read it. Yes, you've read it. You've cried over it. You've sent up a many a prayer for those around you, but now it's time to grab a hold of the plow. It's time to begin to turn the dirt. It's time to begin to be a doer of the Word of God. There is eyes watching you. Not only your grandchildren, not only your neighbor, but your wife, your husband. Yes, there's eyes watching you, and they need to see the love of God radiate from you. You need to begin to be that light, like that city that's set upon a hill that cannot be hid. Take the bushel off of your light. Get off of the couch of doubt. Get up off of the bed of misery. Quit complaining and begin to be praising God because God has a plan and a purpose for your life. God has a plan and a purpose for your life. God has a plan and a purpose for your life. Quit listening to the enemy. Begin to draw nigh unto God and resist the devil. He's got to flee. So now what excuse have you, the enemy bothering you? I don't care. Let the enemy do whatever he wants to do because I'm going to be so busy uh, for the kingdom of God that I ain't got time for the devil. I've done rebuked him out of my life. He's under my feet where he needs to be in the name of Jesus. And I know that he that lives in me is greater than he that is in the world. Do you hear me? Do you hear me today, church? I'm talking to you now. It's time, it's time, it's time, it's time, it's time. It's time to get into the meat of the Word of God. It's time to stand up and be heard. It's time to pick up the phones and call in and share your testimony. Yes, oh yes, I always cry loud about the testimonies. You want to be an overcomer? Be an overcomer. You can dial one nine three one two two nine zero seven six eight and leave your pre-recorded testimony. We're going to play them on the radio airways to be out there as much as we possibly can. That listen to me, God loves you. What have you done for the kingdom of God this day besides complain and talk about everything everybody else is doing? Look here, if you don't like what churches are doing in your community, get up and do something about it. Preach the gospel. Preach the good news of Jesus Christ uh, with the anointing and the power and the demonstration of the Holy Ghost speaking such as we ought to. Get up off of the couch of doubt. Get up out of the bed of misery in the name of Jesus Christ, our precious Lord and Savior, and begin to apply the word of God in your life. Quit looking for anything to come your way except the grace and love and mercy of our precious Lord. Do you hear me today? Quit looking for the filthy luger of money. Quit looking for things of this world. You're not taking nothing with you, my friend. When you leave this world, you come in naked. You're going to go out naked. Do you hear me? You're going to meet Jesus Christ with none of these earthly possessions. Do you hear me? You, I've never seen a, a, a U-Haul truck behind a hearse. Uh, do you hear me? I've never seen uh, people say, well, I'm going to put my money in my it's